Whether you're a player, an investor, or a flipper, this video's for you. This is definitely one of those videos where everyone says, what's in the box? Welcome back everyone, MTG Mox Man here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't worry, we're gonna get to what's in the box. But you could be a player, an investor, a collector, a flipper, whatever it may be, this video probably has something there for you because I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've purchased, some for myself, some for the channel. I got stuff here I wanna share with you guys. I'll be careful with this, packing slip could have my address, so bear with me guys. Let's, let's take a look at what I've been purchasing and why. Okay, we're going to go through this together. So I didn't put these in any order, so we're going to flip this over. Okay, we are starting out here with Bane Fire. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's a whole bunch of cards in here. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Bane Fire is going into my Commander deck, my Throw Bowl deck, because you can't counter it. And that makes it fun for me and, and not fun for my opponents, hopefully. So I put that one in there. Oh, there's my Enric. Remember Enric? That's right. This is the guy who created the Thrulls guy. So he's there. Yeah, I paid a little bit more. He's, he's shiny. I realize that. I go overboard. I want to do things right. Heroes downfall from D&D. &D. Again, going to the commander's deck. Because, hey, that's a creature or a planeswalker. Multiple targets. Oh, Walls of Wood. I know. I've been, I've been buying these with a couple of patrons. Just having some fun. These are unlimited Walls of Wood. They're like a buck a piece. So I, I said, you know what? It's Walls of Wood. It's really old. They were like near mint. I'm not going to pass up cards like that when they're that cheap. And that just shows you some of the crazy stuff I've started buying now. What's in this one? Okay, here we have a beta Drain Life. Okay, again, another card from my commander deck that some of you guys know I was going to buy a card like this, but I just love it. Beta Alpha, go for the style. That is the bling of the day. And although it's been reprinted 50 million times, suckering somebody's life out of them just makes me feel good. And that is awesome. So there we go. Now we've got my beautiful Drain Life going into my deck. And the next card is, hey, Colossus of Sardia. You know what? Because we got the Brothers War coming up, I decided to purchase this for the channel, have a good time with it. It is probably going to end up somewhere not with me. I think this is going to end up in one of the mystery bags for the 10k box um, when we do the 10k party. This will probably be one of the mystery bags. So let's we'll put that over there. Not that you guys need to know that, but still, what's... Oh, here's a whole pile of cards I've been buying. All right. These all came from the same store because they were all at the same label. Uh, Hall of Storm Giants because I think they're really underrated, guys. These are going to be serious money later on. And then, of course, here we go. As you can see, I have purchased a whole bunch of of wonderful antiquity stuff just to have a good time with and of oh oh there you go that is a collector edition or is that international international edition international wall of wood mystery going in there and then of course descent of the dragons because that is going in because my deck can make a lot of tokens for my commander deck so my throw bowl deck is going to have descent of the dragons in there and there's another whole pile going there what's next you ask good i'm glad you want to see what's coming up. And it's going... Oh. Okay. Now this one. We talked about this. We have... Oh, let's get that out of the way. They put a thing. So these were the full art TM ads. They were like 22 bucks each. Um, I couldn't pass up buying an extra playset. I know they're reprinting them, guys. But I'm not going to pass up stuff like that. It's just too wonderful. Too beautiful. And you never know what you're going to do with them. The flipper in me said to buy an extra playset. I already had a playset, but I bought these knowing they're probably going to go up in value. D&D did not get opened nearly as much as people think. So Tiamat is one of those cards that is going to have some value going forward. Uh, then we've got, okay, Culling the Week. Somebody told me about this and I was like, that is so amazing. So I had to put this in my Throw Bowl deck because, I mean, it's slightly played, but that's okay. It's going to let me get to where I need to go. Uh, same with this one. This is the Torment of Hailfire. I can't believe this card was so cheap. Repeat the following process X times. Um, yeah, each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. That That is going to be so mean inside my commander deck. An Arcane Signet because I didn't have one for some reason. Oh, and a Blood Crypt because apparently I didn't have one of these to spare. So I had to go out and purchase one. And there we go. A lot of those cards, as you can tell, are going on my commander deck. That's my player side of me. We got the flipper side of me here. And we got the Patreon side of me. And then what's next, you ask? Oh, wait, there's a single card. We'll do this single card. Maybe it's more than one. 
Ah, all right. Here we got two more cards, and those are both going into my commander deck. The Craven Karens, and then of course we've got the Radical Signet. I think that one is the, uh, what do you call it, Secret Layer version, but it's all they had in stock, so I'm not gonna complain. Somebody said I should get the um, the Signet, so I went ahead and did so. And now, what's in this? What we got there? I'm trying not to let you guys see. No peeking allowed. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Here's the reserve list collector inside me. This is Rogoth, son of Rogoth. Rogak, whatever you want to call this guy. And a Kobold Overlord from Legends. Both Legends cards, both reserve list. And they were so cheap in near mint condition. These are both near mint. And for some reason, there's a Grave Pact on the other side. That's for my. Com These are all for my commander deck. So you see Rogoth here. He is definitely going to my commander deck. And, and you can just sit there. Then we've got the Grave Pack. That's going in there as well. I'm going to have that one in there. But I'm also having, of course, because it's a Throw Bold, which has got my Kobolds and my Thralls. So it's going to have the Kobold Overlord hanging out with it. And near mint for like $73. That's really cheap, guys. That's US, by the way. 73 US. Rogoth, I think, was only 58 I think it was 58 near mint. Can you believe that? That is crazy to see cards like this from Legends that cheap. I couldn't pass up. The reserve list collector in me cannot pass up deals like that. I don't care. I'm buying them. Now, what's in here? All right. We've got Culling the Week because another card from my awesome commander deck. We have an unlimited Dark Ritual because I know there's lots of Dark Rituals out there, but this unlimited one is mine. It is mine and it keeps me safe because it's unlimited. And then, of course, we got some Kobolds because I have a lot of Kobolds, but I didn't feel like breaking up play sets. So I got one of each to go inside my commander deck to help round out what's going on there. That is all my stuff. Oh, oh, be careful. Be careful, Moxman. Those are going to be those are going to be somewhere safe. Now, that's the stuff that I just had to have. Okay, great deals, great stuff. But now, something for you guys is inside the box. We have the 10K video coming up. And before you know it, we're going to be at 10K. So we have to start getting prepared. We have to start prepping up. And I know the video hasn't come out yet, but it will soon. You know what? I don't want to damage any of these guys. I'm just going to move all my nice cards way over there. Move the tea mats and stuff over there. All right. No damaging. Now, if I see anything fishy here, guys, because I don't know where they put the packing slip. And I don't know if the packing slip will have my address or anything. I may have to move this around. So bear with me. Oh, it's a box within a box. It's well packed at least. Is that just this? Right? Okay, I don't see a packing slip in there. So that's good. Move that box out of the way. Now I feel like I'm playing like the Russian doll thing where it's a box instead of a box. Now we have this one. Oh, sorry. Bang that. Nothing? Okay. All right. Move that out of the way. You ready, guys? Oh, yeah. You haven't seen this in 30 years, have you? That's what I'm talking about. Because you know what? We deserve to party. And these are some of the things that are going to be going up in the 10K video for people to purchase at a substantial discount. Patrons, of course, will have a much better deal than the viewers. But we have some packs to give away. We're going to have some fun. And they're going to be cheap the way it should be, like back in the day. Guys, Thanks a lot for tuning in today. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me on the video because stuff like this, let's face it, only comes around ever so long because they're getting too expensive to open. But we're going to do it here on the channel before you know it. My commander deck is nearing completion. Can't wait to put these cards away now. And more fun stuff will just keep coming our way week after week. The closer we get to 10K, we are going to have a party. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. I'll have a little closing comment in just one second. It's kind of amazing to think that if somebody bought one of these and opened it, they could get a Soldevi Excavations, another one out there in the world, free 
part of the army of Soldevi or a trading post. Could be a worthless card in here. But I'd like to think that there could be a Helm of Obedience. Maybe a Lake of the Dead. Force of Will. You see where I'm going with this? It was an uncommon back then. Who knows what's inside these packs, but we are going to find out. 10K is going to happen before we know it. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. It's awesome to see your comments on the channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you made it this far, you might want to come with me just a little bit further past the credits. Hey guys, a big shout out goes out to all the fantastic patrons on the channel. Guys, thanks a lot for that support. Thank you for being there. Patrons make the world go round. They make videos possible. You guys stuck in there. You're here at the end of the video? Way to go, man. I remember, alliances, pretty cool, right? I mean, who would want to open that? But you know what's better than opening alliances? Do you know, do you know what's better than opening alliances? Right? Pretty cool, right? I think we deserve it. Don't you think you deserve it? Ah! I know, we're going to have a good time, guys. We are definitely going to have a good time. Because you know what? We only live once. This world's crazy. Let's enjoy it and have a good time. I think it's time to treat ourselves. We'll be there soon. I can't wait to share it all with you. Thanks a lot for tuning in. You guys have an awesome day wherever you are in the world of magic. And if you made it this far, you can put alliances and the dark. All right, man. I'll see you guys there.